Hi friends, welcome back to Slide Hunt with C programming video tutorial. In this tutorial, we learn macros with arguments. In our previous tutorial, we learned has defined preprocessor and we also learned how to define macro name and macro expansion. Whenever a macro name or macro template was encountered in the program, it was replaced with the replacement text, which we can call macro expansion. The macros that we have used so far are called simple macros. Here we learn some more about macros. Macros can have arguments just as function can. In this tutorial, we write a macro that takes two arguments as number and then check the larger number between them. So let's start. Here first we need to write the macro definition. So I'm gonna write here has define. Then we need to write the macro name. Let's say it larger. And it takes two arguments. One is A and another is B. Now we need to write the macro expansion. Here we use an if statement. If and then write the condition. If A greater than B. One thing I want to say. If the macro expansion is more than one line, then we need to write a backslash and then continue to write the definition next line. So we need to give here a backslash. Then we go to the next line. If this condition is true, then we print A is larger number. So I'm gonna write here print F. A is larger number. give here a backslash and if this condition is false then it will execute the else part so I'm gonna write here else give here a backslash and next line we print b is larger number so I'm gonna write here print f b is larger number one thing must be remembered, this whole thing is the macro definition and this part is the macro expansion. Now inside the main function, we need to call the macro. So I'm gonna write here larger. And we need to pass two number as a argument. I'm going to write here 10 and 5. When we run this program, our preprocessor replace this macro with this statement. Here A will be replaced by 10 and B will be replaced by 5 and all the remaining statement will be same. Let's check the output, compile it and run it. As you can see here, it print A is larger number because here we pass A as 10 and B as 5. Let's check it for another value. This time we pass A as 10 and B as 15. Let's check the output, compile it and run it. Now it print B is larger number because here we pass A as 10 and B as 15. When it check this condition A greater than B, no, this condition is false. Then it execute the else part. That's why it print B is larger number. That's it. Hope you understand. See you in next tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. To watch more videos, please subscribe this channel Slide Hunt.